we'll be connecting to the AC50 using superset software via the RJ45 Ethernet network connection. So in the AC50 on the bottom, your model would have an RJ45 connection port. Your instrument would need to be powered on and connected to your network or connected to your laptop device using either a crossover cable or through a switch. First, you would select carbon controller, AC50 model, and the AC50 button. Here, when the window comes up, we can select the protocol for Modbus TCP and we can start our scan. So it will begin to scan on the network. Once it finds a device, you can select it. Once selected, it will then begin communicating with the AC50. Here it will ask if you want to read all parameters from target. Target being the AC50 instrument itself, and we want to pull those values in, so we select yes. Once the values have been pulled in, we will want to select online mode. By selecting this, this will keep the superset software and the AC50 settings current between the two. So if any changes were made within super system superset software, they would be written down to the AC50 as well as any changes in the AC50 would be uploaded to the superset software during communications. And we can see this by selecting the wizard carbon and it will ask if we want to overwrite local parameters. Local parameters are the ones that are within the superset software, and we want those overwritten with the values that are in the AC50. So we will continue with yes. And here we can currently see we have a good carbon state, and below we can see that our input three probe millivolts is 1077. If an adjustment was to be made at the instrument and the millivolts were to increase, we can see on our superset software that input three did actually increase up to 1141 and our carbon potential is reflecting the new calculated carbon.